Miracles are real, and I'm about to prove it. What's up, crew, and welcome to the vlog. I want to explain yesterday's video. I want to first thank you, though, for all your support. This bond that we share is awesome. And I love that a group that likes to fix stuff or break stuff or ride stuff can come together and share our knowledge and excitement for what we do. Saying that, let's go back to hell in the advanced auto parts parking lot. I think the city's waking up. It sounds like there's more cars, and it sounds like there's more movement. The only thing is, the part store is not open yet. But I gotta go to the bathroom and I gotta get something to eat. So the part store is not open? I'm hoping Home Depot will be. I gotta go, man. They're open. Mission complete. Now let's work on the Duramax. I'm sort of in a rush, so I'm not gonna do my... So I'm not gonna do it my hair real nice or try to look super fly right now. I just kinda wanna get the job done. And you guys totally understand where I'm coming from. I've kinda just been thrown into a shit show and I wanna get out of it. So as you guys are aware from yesterday's vlog, this tire and this wheel actually fell off. Well, not the wheel and rim that's on right now, but this wheel. You can see all the lugs are bored right out. So that rim shot. That's gonna go on my wall of fame. Or my wall of shame. But last night I actually ordered my parts. So there, there are a lot of miracles throughout this experience. And I'm definitely gonna list every single one at the end of the video. And I'll be sure to mention each miracle as I go. But one of the first miracles is, I pulled into Advanced Auto Parts. When I went on their website, they had a 20% off thing after parking in their parking lot. That's gonna be a tough job, what you got there? I don't know, I can handle that. My tough job was last night on the throughway. What exactly happened? The fucking wheel fell off. What, it messed anything up? Oh yeah, the whole the rotor shot, the the wheels shot. Luckily, it's not too expensive. That's well, at least you save yourself some, some um doing it yourself. Yeah, exactly. I'm what, dumb enough just, to fix it, and I'm dumb enough to break it, right? It's um didn't give me no warning. No what? Didn't give me no warning or anything. Warranty? No warning, warning. I mean, it's just... Oh no no yeah, it just the funniest part was is I I pulled off the road a mile before it happened, took a three hour nap. Went back on the road a mile down the freaking road and fell off. How fast are you going? Luckily only 75. I wonder what made them come loose like that. Well, I just I just uh, swapped them out and I torqued them, but I didn't retorque them. Well, every single time, but this time I've always torqued them. But I'll sh you want to see what the rotor yeah, looks like? Yeah. The rotor looks crazy. I'm going to hang it up on my wall. See, you videoing it. Oh, yeah. You want to be my video? No, man. No, you don't want to be my video? <laughs> Put it on YouTube. What's that guy doing? He's supposed to be in the van. It's working. <laughs> Is that what we pay him for? <laughs> you from uh, New York? Yep. What, what's really crazy though is all the lug nuts on every other wheel are tight. And then this was the only wheel that fell off. Like all the other ones were like super tight. It's just really weird. It Exciting last night. shit out of you, man. Oh yeah, it did. Then this guy pulled over and gave me a hand which was really, really cool because it was like three o'clock at night. It's getting beautiful out. In yeah. New York right now, we'd be playing in snow. It was 28 degrees by five o'clock this morning. What, did you sleep in the trunk? Oh yeah, it was real comfortable. I got two and a half hours of sleep. So how far you had to drive it like this? Um, Luckily only eight miles. Like that. Oh yeah, dang. Yeah, you need to, um, well you're lucky you didn't do no more damage than, 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 than that, that, that else. Look at that. There's a. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, you're lucky you didn't know. Um... I'm lucky I didn't kill anybody. You know, imagine that flying down the road and hitting some, or hitting a car. Yeah, that's something, that's something crazy right there. Oh, yeah. That's you're that's lucky it. you didn't have no damage in nothing no, no else. Well, you have nothing, man. All right, thank you. The rotor is supposed to be circular. As you can see, it's not circular. That is definitely going on my wall. I'm totally gonna remember this day. Really early in the morning. The second miracle, other than stopping in Advanced Auto Parts and realizing that they have an online sale, was Ian 
My good buddy Ian told me to bring up my box full of tools. I originally was not gonna bring my box full of tools. If I hadn't done that, then I would have had to buy tools. It would have been a bigger inconvenience and it would have cost more money. Miracle number two. So I gotta take this huge brake caliper off first. And once I get that off, I can pull the rotor off, gut the inside parts because the parking brake's all chewed up. The bottom of this piece of shielding is all bent up. So I'm just gonna strip all of that and just have it so only the brakes work and we have a new rotor. That way it'll get us down there. We just won't have a parking brake. I did bring my gloves, but I'm not gonna count that as a miracle because I always carry these things around. I love them. She snapped the bracket that hooks up to the caliper. This right here. Snapped that. Um, destroyed all of this. Put a big groove into that. Um, this this I'm not concerned about. This that supports the caliper I am um, worried about because when I push it on the brakes, it'll definitely matter. I don't want to I don't want to hit the brakes so hard. The caliper grabs onto the rotor and then it starts spinning and destroying my rim even more a second rim even more. So I, I gotta fix this. Now I'm just gonna put one of my other tires on the back so I have two on the two on the back that match and two on the front that match. I'm not going in four wheel drive so I don't really have to worry about the differential screwing up. And since I lost all my lug nuts on this side, because the wheel fell right off, I took two from each thing so each one's rocking six. But since I broke one of the studs off the back, I robbed another one off of here. But I did go ahead and buy more lugs, so we'll be safe with that. Um, the brake line is uh, plugged. That took forever to do. So I had to just make something up, and I had to run to I'm at Advanced Auto Parts. I had to run to Home Depot, AutoZone. I just walked there. I, I should have pulled the old moped out and rocked the old Motron, but I didn't. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a very long day. Hey, it, it could have gone a lot worse. I'm not mad or upset about it. I'm just a little hangry. I haven't eaten all day, haven't drank all day. So um, be patient with me, please. So I also took this caliper off. It's right here because the mount to that is broken and three out of four brakes isn't bad. So I'm just gonna slap this other tire on here, test my brake job, put the lug nuts on, pack up and get the fuck out of here. I'll tell you what, I'm retorquing these after like 10 miles, 20 miles, 30 miles. That's a, that's a lesson I learned. So I'm, I'm glad it didn't cost a life. I'm glad it didn't cost me any harm. It just cost me a lot of money. That's, that's easy to replace. Lives aren't. Luckily that wasn't actually you, that was just my camera. The lug nuts I bought aren't long enough. The threads are way too long. So now I'm going to buy the ugly ones that just fit. We can hit the road, get something to eat, retorque those bolts. I just gotta throw this stuff away. Well, she's rolling, you guys, with no disgusting noises, so that's good. I'm ready for some food, you guys. I'm ready for some nice, high quality, nutritious fast food. And a bath. Now I wanna grab some extra brake fluid, just in case my fix does leak. It shouldn't leak. Things are getting better again. 
Anybody touch my baby? I went to Hardy's for lunch. It was delicious. The people there, the employees there are amazing. And down south, man, it is so nice. You you guys are so polite. I'm not saying the people up north aren't polite, but you guys just show it more. And it's awesome. Like, I can't help but have a smile on my face every single place I go. You guys are awesome. extremely embarrassed of what happened because like I said I usually I'm not kidding you every single time I've ever done my tires I've retorqued them but since I'm in such a rush I completely forgot about it and I was sleepy and drowsy and I, I want to tell you guys the entire story just not on the road I want to I want to share my experience I just want to give you more attention than what I am right now. 95% of you understood that I could have lost my life. The 5% of people just didn't get it. Maybe it's the lack of information that I gave them. Now, I'm not saying this in a braggadocious way, but this truck weighs 6,000 pounds. 6,000 pounds, that's a lot of freaking weight. The average truck is around 4,000 pounds. Saying that, my left rear tire fell off. A rear tire is way better than a front tire. For example, now I changed out all four tires at Do It With Dan's. Can you imagine if one of the front tires came off? I was going 75 miles an hour. I didn't feel any vibration prior to the tire falling off. It, it was working perfectly. All of a sudden I felt a wobble and as soon as I felt that I was going towards the ditch to, to check up on things. Before I could even get to the side of the road my wheel completely fell off. But can you imagine if I felt that wobble or I didn't feel that wobble and that tire just came off and it came off the front? Let's just say for example this wheel fell off. It falls off this side is starting to drag so it would probably swing the truck like this this way and then these tires would grab and probably throw me in a barrel roll maybe that's why people didn't get that i could have died that night or if that wheel flew off at 75 miles an hour and flew into somebody's car they could have killed people like there was no sarcasm there was no it was real this is where i completely want to share my story with you guys as you guys know i changed all four tires at dan's I went probably 150 to 250 miles without retorquing the tires. I used a torque wrench, which I cannot find at the moment, but what I can tell you is it's about as big as this breaker bar. So after changing the wheels, torquing them, going 150 to 250 miles, I didn't check the wheels. The last 40 miles before I stopped, I was contemplating whether or not to stop. I didn't know if I wanted to go the whole way because I was gonna arrive here at about three o'clock in the morning and I was just beat the two days before that. I, I just had had limited sleep. That's why I was unsure about stopping. I didn't want to fall asleep at the wheel even though I personally think I cannot fall asleep at the wheel. Throughout my journey, I didn't feel a wobble. I didn't feel anything. The truck was just working perfectly. Get fuel. I look at this tire when I'm fueling up. I'm like, hey, that tire kind of looks low. Now, if I looked at the tire pressure, I probably would have saw loose slug nuts. But I, but I said, no, it's good. I got on the throughway, which was about a quarter mile away from the fuel station. And then half a mile up the throughway, or highway, whatever you want to call it, I felt a wobble and then my wheel fell off. Now remember, I was just contemplating whether or not to pull over the last 40, 50 miles. And when I was contemplating that, I was going 85, 90 miles an hour. Can you imagine if that wheel fell off at, at greater speeds than I was already traveling? Right when I got on the highway, I felt my stomach had like a, it wasn't hunger, it was just a weird feeling. And then my wheel fell off. So it's, it's crazy how connected we are to our surroundings, this thing we call life. It's, it's definitely intriguing. For example, my mom's husband, he had the same feeling that I had when he was talking to his brother moments before his brother died. And uh, Tanner Fox had the same gut churning thing before he got in a car accident. So we are connected, whether you believe it or not. So all the signs were there. I had a low tire, I didn't pay attention to it. I had that feeling, I didn't pay attention to it. So my first real miracle when this happened is CJ. He pulled over, it was three o'clock in the morning. It was about 40 degrees, maybe 30 degrees. It was freaking cold out. This guy pulled over and spent his time freezing his butt off to help me. That's, that's why I broke down. The, the mere appreciation I had towards CJ was just unbelievable. Um, I had to hug the guy, I had to show him some sort of love, and, and that's what got me to cry. Knowing that there's, there's real people out there that actually care about you. I look forward to meeting anybody in this world with a mental attitude like that. 
If CJ didn't pull over, he, he had a scissor jack. If he didn't pull over, I wouldn't have been able to get this truck off the road. So he actually, it was two miracles and maybe even three because without him stopping, I wouldn't have showed you guys the hundreds of thousands of people that you know, helping somebody in need is definitely, you, you will get something out of it, trust me. Whether it happens to you five minutes from now or 10 years from now, you'll get something out of it. Then I limped it three miles to the next exit. I had come back to the exact same exit that I just entered. Pull over, past the spot I just took a nap, past the spot that I just filled up, past the spot that I saw my tire was low. I pull into the parts store, I go online on my phone, and what do they have? A 20% off, anything over $50. And trust me, I spent a lot more than $50. For what happened though, like the absolute best outcome happened, which, which I have God to thank for that. Like I, I'm grateful just to have this conversation with you guys. If any little thing changed, I, I might not be here. Like that's, that's the real, that's the truth. But I'm down in Port Charlotte, Florida. I'm gonna start relaxing. I might take a break from the truck. I might not. I like work, but I like play. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I wanna thank you guys for all your support. I hope I spread some sort of knowledge to you guys. Please do everybody a favor and go in the comment section. Share your knowledge. Share your experiences. If you've ever helped somebody in need or if you've ever received help when you needed it or if you've had something similar to what happened to me, share it in the comment section. I wanna read it. I wanna see, I wanna read your experience. But I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, until tomorrow's vlog, I look forward to it. I'm excited for it. 3D Machines out.